one the name is Eric Thorne today I'm launching a new personality test called the stress code so yeah right, right there is a flow code personal test I now have a stress code personal test I launched this test to combat the uh, uh, negative mental health impacts of the corona crisis so seeing that a lot of people right now are stressed and anxious I wanted to help people find their way back to being more mindful and relaxed even during difficult times so now I have a new personnel test where you can answer questions based on how you act, based on who you are and stressed. I ask test questions specifically to figure out your behavior during stress. So I want you to take the time to reflect on your behavior in the recent week and notice how your behavior has changed from the past. Notice if you feel that you are currently being more prone to daydreaming or fantasizing or less prone to fa fantasizing and daydreaming. Answer a question based on how easy it is for you to focus on creative projects at this time and how focused you are on your duties and responsibilities. Do you find yourself more focused on duties and responsibilities or do you find yourself avoiding that more than usual? Notice how organized you are. Notice uh, how active you are, or impulsive you are, or how spontaneous you feel, how intuitive you feel, how outgoing you are, how uh, important family is to you right now, how uh, if you respond more critically towards your government or feel more negative or if, if you feel more positive and accepting and forgiving than usual. Notice these tendencies because I have a theory, I have a big theory and that's uh, the essential basis of my project and the theory is that people are different when they are in state of flow and well-being as opposed to who they are during stress. So here I talk about stress in a wider sense, not just stress at work, but stress as anxiety, as uh, exhaustion, as uh, demotivation, as negativity, as uh, feelings of uh, lack of control and being tense and finding it hard to uh, really uh, sit down or listen to yourself. Now, the important part of this test is also to try to accurately fill out who you think your personality type is when you are in a state of flow. So answer my question and help try to figure out, okay, which personality type am I when I'm in a positive state of flow, do I think? So try to figure it out as accurately as possible and also try to rate how normally, how introverted are you usually? So if you know that usually I'm a person who is uh, quite introverted, uh, then a seven will do. If you notice that you're a person who is, spends most of the time by themselves and who is very focused on the inside world in nine or ten. If you feel that, no, I'm not very introverted at all, <laughs> I don't relate to introversion at all, then a strongly extroverted scale will do. So fill that out as good as you can and uh, then after you've done uh, also try to rate how confident you are as a person usually so if you feel that yeah I'm about the six at confidence most of the time or if you feel like now I'm always very confident and very sure of myself then a nine or a ten if you feel that you often doubt yourself or that you can be a bit insecure then a one will do finally there's a quick question just to check in with all of you how what kind of changes have you made in your lifestyle this past week? And this is just really nice for me to hear how you guys are responding to and what your experience is like of the current situation. Uh, so I really enjoy reading through that. So once you're done, you can get the test results and after that you're gonna get a lot of really juicy information. So this first note test is a survey and I will be launching statistics from this survey and you can find out a lot about this. And I want to, and I hope to find out a lot about people from this scale. I want to find out if you guys are responding and feeling a bit more neurotic than usual or if you guys are feeling a bit more assertive than usual. I want to find out, for example, uh, what your response is, what personality type you are behaving more like at the moment. And I want to find out uh, basically what kind of scales you are on. So here there's uh, really a lot of interesting things to be found out. My personality test results and what I got on the stress code. First, something surprising. While normally I consider myself to be a bit more turbulent and a bit more prone to doubt, at the moment I feel more assertive than usual. I feel like I'm more confident in myself and I feel more forward oriented and more uh, able to stand up for myself and speak out for myself. Uh, and I've also been showing that at work and uh, in my personal life. Another interesting thing is that uh, I 
found that I got the opposite result of how I am normally. I noticed that when I am stressed, I behave a lot more ESTP-like. I find it hard to focus. I uh, become more spontaneous and restless. I go back and forth. I uh, become a lot less sensitive. I am more clumsy. I am more direct. I am more pragmatic. And uh, I show more strength and independence. I become a lot more reliable and dependable. And I, yeah, work hard to maintain like this strong outer wall uh, towards the outer world. And I can notice that other people find me to be a bit more cool during these times. Now, more interestingly, uh, comparing my normal scores to my usual scores, I found that, yeah, while I'm usually 70% on introversion, extroversion, so slightly more introverted, uh, significantly more introverted than extroverted. At the moment, I am uh, slightly more extroverted, so there's a big difference. I am, uh, what you say, uh, a lot more extroverted than usual, almost 30% more extroverted than usual. If you look at the intuition, what I notice is I'm a lot less intuitive than usual. If I consider myself to be extremely intuitive most of the time, uh, almost 100% on intuition, I notice that this goes really down, extremely down. It was, went down almost more than anything else, almost more than my perceiving score, which was already very low. <laughs> so now looking at my feeling and thinking, that's about the same. So I noticed that, yeah, it's 60, 34. So what I'm finding is that, yeah, I'm a bit more logical than usual, uh, but uh, not a major significant impact. Then finally, looking at judging and perceiving, what I'm seeing is that, yeah, I used to be, I'm kind of in the middle on judging and perceiving and a bit in between INFJ and INFP. Um, at the moment, I am a bit more perceiving than usual. So this situation has really changed me in a big way. Also looking at assertiveness, you see that 55% on assertiveness, where normally I'm about 40% on assertiveness. So usually I'm more prone to doubting myself. Usually I am a bit more uh, judging. Usually I'm a bit more feeling. Usually I'm a bit more intuitive, a bit more ex uh, introverted. Now I'm a bit more extroverted, a bit less intuitive, a bit more sensory, a bit more thinking, a bit more perceiving, and a bit more assertive. So it's really insane to see how these changes influence a person. And that's something to really look at in yourself because my argument is that these kind of changes aren't healthy for us in the longer term. While it's important for us to adjust to our situation and to think practically in the moment, it is also important to check in with yourself and who you are and to be true to yourself. So find ways to relax and unwind and center yourself. Find ways to uh, intuit, have intuitive outlets. Don't forget to dream and fantasize and introspect and uh, do the things you normally do. Become better at uh, going back inside and doing things you enjoy and like. Even during difficult times, find fun outlets, creative outlets, entertainment, things that you give you energy, things that help you recharge and unwind and things that relieve stress. Uh, don't get too overwhelmed by the media, by everything that's happening around you, and don't get too caught up in the group, tribal atmosphere of uh, everyone else's feelings, everyone else's emotions, and everyone else's struggles. That's my tip for all of you. Now I want to say thanks everyone for watching, and see you all in the next video.